Get ready. Now that we've entered into 2023, it's time for European theme park fans to start getting excited for the new coaster, Gotham City Escape, set to open a park Warner in Madrid later this year. Whenever a new coaster opens in the world, it's a pretty big deal. However, in our opinion, it's an even bigger deal when it's a European coaster. It just seems that little bit more exciting due to the fact they don't open here as frequently as North America or Asia. In this video, we want to give you the current rundown on what to expect from Gotham City Escape, when it's due to open, and if we think it's going to live up to the hype. Before we do though, we would just remind you to sub to the channel if you enjoy the content, and give the video a like if you're excited for this one. Anyway, let's get into it, get ready. What is Gotham City Escape? Gotham City Escape is a new Intamin multi-launch coaster that's set to open in Park Warner later this year. The ride is based on the DC Comics characters Batman and the Joker, and takes guests through a thrilling adventure through the streets of Gotham City. In terms of specs, the ride is set to reach speeds of up to 104 km an hour, a max height of 45 meters, and a total ride time of 1 minute 51 seconds. It'll also include two launches during the ride, as well as a number of special effects, such as fire and explosions, that will make riders feel like they're right in the middle of the action. In total, Gotham City Escape will have four inversions, with one of these being a 360 degree inversion, a first of its kind in Europe, that will no doubt add to the thrill and make the experience even more exciting. If you haven't already picked up on it, it's worth mentioning that Gotham City Escape has a very similar layout to Universal Studios' highly acclaimed Velocicoaster, which opened in June 2021. In our opinion, this is even more reason to get excited for the opening of this new coaster. One of the things that excites us most about Gotham City Escape is the level of attention to detail that seems to have gone into its design. The ride cars are set to be modelled after the Batmobile, and the queue area will be decorated to resemble Gotham City itself. Additionally, the ride will feature a number of iconic characters from the Batman series. This level of detail should make the experience more immersive and will transport the riders into the world of Batman. Gotham City Escape is also a great example of how theme park can use intellectual property to enhance the guest experience. By incorporating elements from the comics into the ride, park goers will feel like they're really a part of the story, and the ride will be more immersive and memorable. This type of approach is becoming increasingly common in the theme park industry, with other parks such as Universal Studios and Disney using intellectual property to create highly themed rides and attractions. It's a way for the theme park to offer something new and unique to guests, while also appealing to fans of the franchise. Of course, it's not just fans of the Batman franchise who will enjoy Gotham City Escape. The ride's combination of high speeds, special effects and immersive theming will make it a must ride for thrill seekers and theme park enthusiasts alike with a 360 degree inversion acting as a unique selling point for the ride. This should be appealing to everyone looking for a new and exciting experience. When is Gotham City Escape due to open? Right now it's being communicated that Gotham City Escape is set to open sometime in spring this year. This will likely coincide with the park returning to full opening in April, but we wouldn't be surprised if we have to wait a little longer than this. Right now, Park Warner are also being quiet when it comes to an official opening date, but we're quietly confident Gotham City Escape will open sometime in the first half of this year. Will Gotham City Escape live up to the hype? As mentioned, Gotham City Escape at Park Warner is one of the most highly anticipated attractions set to open this year. But with such high expectations, it's natural to wonder whether the ride is actually going to live up to the hype. On one hand, the ride's concept and theme are certainly promising. The idea of a high-speed chase through the streets of Gotham, complete with encounters with some of Batman's most iconic foes, is an exciting one. The use of special effects such as fire, smoke and mist, as well as onboard audio speakers that play music and sound effects, also add to the immersion of the ride. This will hopefully be a good standard setter for how roller coasters and good theming can be used in unison to offer an amazing experience, something not overly common across Europe. However, there are also some reasons to be cautious about the ride's potential success. One concern is that the ride may not live up to the expectations set by its theme and concept. For example, if the ride is not intense enough, it may not live up to the thrilling adventure promised by its theme. Additionally, if the ride's theming and special effects are not executed well, it may not feel like a true Gotham City experience. That said, the coaster does look very similar to Velocicoaster in Universal Studios, so if it can match that ride experience, we won't have anything to worry about. A European comparison we can think of is Taran in Phantasialand, which is also a heavily themed Intamin multi-launch coaster and one of our favourite coasters in Europe. Another concern is that the ride may not be able to differentiate itself enough from other roller coasters at the park. 
With so many thrilling attractions already available at Park Warner, it's important for Gotham City Escape to stand out in some way. If the ride is not unique enough, it may not be able to attract the same level of attention and excitement as other attractions at the park. Despite these concerns, it is important to remember that Gotham City Escape is not open yet, so it is hard to form an opinion on the ride until it's fully operational. We can only hope that the ride lives up to the hype and delivers a thrilling and immersive experience for guests. Based on the information provided by the park, it looks like it has all the elements to be a great coaster that will appeal to both thrill seekers and fans of the Batman universe, and we personally can't wait to get on it. If you enjoyed this video, check out our video on the incoming Mario Kart ride set to open in Super Nintendo Land this year at Universal Studios Hollywood on screen now. Let us know in the comments if you're looking forward to riding Gotham City Escape once it opens, and don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already.